Get the f out the car! 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 Cops often catch criminals when it's already too late, but what happens when they catch a kidnapper red-handed? In this video, we'll cover three examples of exactly this, starting with the case of Jeremy Guthrie. On July 22nd, New Mexico police pulled over a white Dodge pickup truck for suspicion of driving under the influence. But when officers confronted the driver and found six kids in the vehicle, it became clear that this may not be just another DUI. Hey there. Hello. How are you? All right. Just all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Should your license? Yeah. At this point, the officer notices Guthrie acting strangely and possibly suspects him of being intoxicated. But when he flashes his light in the back seat and notices multiple children in the car, he realizes just how serious this situation actually is. I thought you were going to crash. No, I don't. I didn't say. I don't think so. I'm just saying I thought you were going to crash. Okay, and then you have a bunch of kids in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. How old's your friend? 18. That girl's not 18? Huh? That girl's not 18? Yeah. No, she's not. That girl's not 18, trust me. She don't look 18. Ma'am, how old are you? I didn't ask you your name, I asked you how old, uh, how old you were. An intoxicated man driving alone with children tells police there may be something sinister going on. At best, he's endangering them by driving drunk. At worst, it could be a potential kidnapping. Guthrie says they're his friends, yet they seem to be unwilling or unable to speak for themselves. He is claiming that the girl beside him is 18, yet her refusing to give her age is a major red flag to the officer. But when he asks Guthrie to get out of the vehicle, a key piece of evidence will appear before his very eyes. Why's your, why, why's your zipper or your buttons down in your crotch? <laughs> well, I probably just forgot. Okay. And I'll button my zipper. Right? Yeah, please button your zipper. Yeah. I mean, I had to, I had to take it like a, a piss and... Um, Based on Guthrie's level of intoxication, it's possible he did just forget to button his fly. But considering he was just caught with a truckload of underage teens, whatever the reasons behind the wardrobe malfunction, he likely knows how bad this looks. Not only has he given officers reason to suspect DUI and child endangerment, but the situation could now potentially be even worse. All those people in the car, who are they? They're just my friends. I, don't, I mean... Do you normally hang out with... People who, who are young? Not, not, how, uh, how old are you? I'm 41. 41, okay. Hang tight right there, okay? When asked about his friends in the truck, he can't seem to elaborate any further. Now that the children are alone, the officer can finally attempt to get to the bottom of who they really are. How old are you? And don't lie to me. I mean, okay, like, I'm not gonna play this, the game where you lie. I know that, I, I know that you're not 18, okay? So if you want to have attitude, you in the front, okay, we go about it another way. Simple as that. So if, so if I sense any attitude or you give me lip, we'll do it another way. Okay, how old are you? 14. 14, thank you. Simple, simple question. 14. Four, really 14? Yes, sir. Okay. 14. 14. Okay. 13. Okay. 13, okay. 14. Okay, who is this guy to anybody? Uh, that's our old news. And then she knows his kid. Okay. So, that there's your homie? Or, okay, so you, got, you, you guys all need to call your parents. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. And have your parents meet, meet us here. Just so you guys know, okay, I probably saved six lives tonight, at least six lives. Okay, I thought you guys were going to crash around that bend. He's, he's going way too fast. Oh, yeah. And he's definitely not safe to drive. Oh, yeah, we told you. Uh, this is this is Sergeant Lafay with State Police, and you're 
your son, along with them guessing three, uh, five, five of the other buddies, they were in a they were in a vehicle with somebody who, some man, it's a, it's a, it's a grown adult who has who has no business driving, and so he's out now doing uh, field sobriety tests, and these kids need to be picked up. The officer learns that Guthrie is supposedly the father of one of the kid's friends. Now that he knows their real ages, he'll let them know just how lucky they are to be alive. He'll then speak to the children's parents, informing them of the situation and requesting that they be picked up from the scene. So just to make sure that you're okay to drive, okay, uh, would you mind uh, doing a couple of field sobriety tests just to make sure? Yeah. Yeah? You would mind or would, or you, w you would want to do them? What's it? Uh, do you mind, or or do or would you want to do them? Do you want to do them? Yes or no? I don't really want to. You don't want to do them? No. I don't want to. Okay, I'll, I'm just gonna let you know if you don't do the test, I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. Do you want to do the test? All right, well, let's do the test. You don't know what's after H? I don't like that one. Are you gonna stop the test then? I'll, I'll still. I can still test. Okay, so. Are you going to continue, or are you going to stop right there? I just don't understand this. Um, you're going backwards, you're going eight. I, are you going backwards? I just don't understand the uh, test that you're doing right now. I told you to go forward, remember? From H? From H to S. It's pretty simple. Oh, oh. H, I. I just didn't understand what you wanted to... Yeah, uh, all right, go and stand up, bro. Go and stand up. Go and turn around for me. Go and turn around. Go and turn around. All right, so you're going to be placed under arrest for DWI, okay? As the officers continue their investigation, a field sobriety test is conducted on an increasingly confused Guthrie. He'll be found unable to perform even the most basic steps, and it's not long before he's placed in handcuffs and put under arrest. Jeremy Guthrie would later be charged with driving under the influence, false imprisonment, six counts of child abuse, and most shockingly, multiple counts of <laughs> after it was revealed he had impregnated one of the 12-year-old girls. This next case, however, is a very different story and shows that quick thinking by officers may be the difference between life and death for a kidnapped young boy. I got the car, Peoples and RDA. Go, 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 go. He cut off on people's Give me the air. People's northbound towards Oak Street. GSP is behind him. GSP pit. GSP pit. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Get the out of the door. Get the open the door. Open the door. He's trying to kill us. He's trying to kill us. When Darius White steals a woman's car with her nine-year-old son inside, the My Location app on the boy's phone identifies his whereabouts. But when police spot the vehicle and use a pit maneuver to immobilize it, a panicked White is caught totally off guard. Oh my gosh, he's trying to kill me! Why would y'all do that, man? Get out. Get out. Please don't, please don't, don't beat me up, man. Get Listen, out. don't get on that door. Y'all trying to kill me. Don't, don't fight me, man. Get on the ground. Don't fight me. Stop, don't fight me. He don't stop trying to fight me. He don't stop trying to fight me. Please,
White continues to emphasize that the officer hit us and how messed up that is. By playing the victim and implying the pit maneuver put the child's life in danger, White is blaming police for any potential injuries instead of taking responsibility himself. But notice the officer is showing extreme caution while attempting to apprehend White, neglecting to use his taser, which if employed improperly has the potential to injure the boy in the back seat as he is sitting directly behind White. <laughs> Now that White has been detained, an officer will retrieve the visibly shaken child and check for any visible signs of injury. Considering he's just been through a highly traumatic event, it's likely he'll be taken to the hospital for a thorough examination. Right now, all the officer can do is comfort him until his mother arrives on the scene. Darius White will later be charged with kidnapping, cruelty to children, and theft. But in this next case, we'll see what happens when the children take charge of the situation. <laughs> When suspect Kevin Smith steals a father's truck with his four and eight-year-old kids inside, officers quickly spot the vehicle and confront the kidnapper. But when Smith finally manages to get his story straight, his defense will be quite revealing. Roll the window down. Why are you doing with the kids? What's going on? Roll the window down, bro. Oh, He's not your car? No, step out of the car. Step out of the car, bro. Okay, step out of the car. Help me on you. It's not you? Alright, let me let me figure it out. Okay, put that bottle away. Put that bottle away. Okay, put, put that bottle away. Okay. Step out of the car and help me out. Okay? What do you mean not you? Okay. So let me figure out. I don't know what's going on. So step, step out so you can get out. Uh, you're gonna step out. Yeah, I cannot leave you. Give me the car keys. Give me the car keys. Give me the car keys. The officer hasn't accused Smith of anything, yet he'll continuously claim it's not me, implying he knows a crime has been committed and is essentially confessing to it. But with the officer attempting to take Smith into custody, one of the children tells him what's really going on. I know where your dad is. I saw him running this way. Give me the car keys. I'm not asking you twice. Give me the car keys. Alright. Alright. Step out. I, I step out. I need to figure out. I cannot let you in the car. If I step out, you're going to punch me. I'm not going to punch you, bro. I just, yes, gonna, I just No, I promise you. you will I, I promise out. you. Is this? Yeah, yeah. Alright, step out of the car. Close my dad. Step out of the car, bro. Step out of the car. 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 Stay here. We need to figure out what's going on. That's all. It's possible that Smith threatened the children to keep quiet, and now that he's detained, they feel emboldened to speak up. By the look on Smith's face, it's clear he can't believe a kid got the best of him. He'll be arrested on the scene, and the children will be returned safely to their father. Smith was later charged with grand theft auto and two counts of felony kidnapping.